Hey guys, what's up? It's Danielle. So welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have another cash envelope stuffing for you. And yes, Baki is in the way. Excuse you and your big butt, sir. Really? All right. We'll just, what, 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 sir, what are you doing? Okay. Your, your butt's going to be in the video, I guess, like always. Would you stop? Sir, excuse you. Okay. I'm going to put all right, I'm going to move you that way. How about that? Stop moving my stuff. Stop. I have the window open because it's a little stuffy in here. And he's just like going crazy watching like squirrels and bees and everything. So anyways, I do have a decent chunk of change. And I legitimately cannot remember if that's because I did not empty this last week or if it's just because I have that much change I honestly could not tell you I did just wake up no surprise there and I'm actually running on more than two hours of sleep right now so that's a win-win for me yo but anyways as I drop quarters I have and I can't even pick them up because I have no nails this is cute Today is like just a chaotic day. It's not supposed to be, but it is. So I've got a decent amount in quarters and, oh, for the love of dogs. And everything else that we don't care about slash do care about. All right, that goes in there. And quarters go in here, which, by the way, I think I told you guys before that I did empty out half of this and I put half of it in my car and it did come in handy because I went for like the first time ever to a local market that's around here. I don't normally do stuff like that. I'm very much a homebody because I am exhausted, <laughs> but I did that last weekend. I didn't buy anything. I just kind of walked around. And I am planning on doing it maybe next weekend again. So I was on call last weekend and I did not receive that in this paycheck, even though I was supposed to, because long story short, we're in between directors where I work. So he wasn't there the whole time. So... It's fine if it's on the next paycheck because I am on call again next weekend and that will definitely be on the next paycheck. So I'm not super mad about it. Okay, so food, I do have some left over from last week. <coughs> Excuse me. So 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Wow, I really didn't spend that. Okay. Well. But yeah, I have 20. So I was actually going to do 120 for food. You know, I'm still going to do 120. What am I saying? All right, so there's 20. So I'm going to put 120 in there. So two, four, five. Six. Oh God. There we go. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. So we got one forty for food because I know I'm gonna have to buy eggs like next week. And then I'm also going to have to buy, like, you know, the small bags of chips for, like, my lunches and whatever. So, gas still has 50 in it, so I'm not going to touch that. I actually was driving somebody home from work, which was why I was burning through that more quickly. And I basically told them, like, look, you got to get your shit together because I'm tired of doing this. And also, I wanted to save money. So... Keep in mind, I had been doing this for like months <clears throat> and 
you know, some people might think that that's mean, but I'm like, you're a grown ass person and I should not have to be the one driving you around. I'm not a fucking Uber. So the other part of that is I really like not having to answer to anybody, not having people asking like where I'm at, what I'm doing. So I kind of can get away from that as well. And I can just go back to doing my own thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. It also makes it so that I don't have to rush out of work. And that honestly was putting my job in jeopardy because if there was stuff that was not done that I was not aware of and I would already leave, then somebody else would have to take care of it and I would get in trouble. So yeah, I put a stop to that. And also it makes it so that I can, you know, do like I can finish all my stuff at work so I don't have to take my laptop home with me, which honestly... If you know, you know, like it is the best feeling in the world when you don't have to bring work home with you, especially because I have to do that like basically every weekend regardless. So this is the first weekend in I don't know how long that I haven't had to do that and I'm like super stoked. But I also worked like almost 12 hours in order to do that. So it'd be like that. All right, so this is what I have for my pets envelope. This is what was left last week after I bought their pine pellets. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Funny story. I went in there at like 7 30, 8 o'clock in the morning, like right when they opened last week. And I gave the girl like $32 because I bought four bags and or whatever it was around that. I think it was 740. Yeah, it was about four bags worth. So I gave the girl $32, but most of it was ones. And she was counting it out. She had to recount it. And I was like, oh, it's 32. And uh, she had to recount it like two or three times. And I was like, oh, you know, like it's okay. You know, it's still early. And this crotchety ass old man in line behind me, like you can tell this dude has hated his life like since the day he was conceived. He was like, oh yeah, sure, that's the reason. He was like, stop making excuses. And I looked at him and I was like, dude, like if it wasn't 8.30 or whatever, 8 o'clock in the morning, like I would be telling you off right now. But I was like, I'm going to keep my cool because it's my day off and I don't need to be starting shit with people. So I'm just saying, like, it's always it's always the entitled pricks who want to be assholes to people who work in customer service. And I know some of you guys have not been on my channel for that long, but I literally made it through college working in customer service. Like, I used to work at Walgreens and CVS in, uh, like, as a cashier. And people were so friggin' rude. So, I personally do not try to be that way towards other people who work in customer service. Because it is a thankless job and it drains the shit out of you. But anyways, like... I just, people like that, I'm not going to say what I want to say because I'm already savage enough. All right, so this is what I have in reserve. And I don't have my other pet's envelope, so I got to put this back because I haven't opened up my safe yet. So I'm going to keep that off to the side. But this is what I have in reserve. Now, things have been getting a little out of hand lately. And when I say they've been getting out of hand, like, I just, I mean that wholeheartedly. Which is kind of why I've bumped up my food category. But since devoting extra money to my vet bill, I have been kind of thrown off as far as the whole month ahead thing. 
and I only took out cash for this week. So I'm going to count this because I don't really know exactly how much I have, but I do want to, you know, kind of see where I'm at and then go from there. So the good thing is that August 1st is the last assessment I have due for my HOA. And I'm very excited about that because then I can like save more money, obviously. But anyways, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Sorry, that was my computer because it logged me off. I was watching Barefoot Contessa on YouTube. Anybody else an Ina Garden fan? I just, her voice is so soothing. It's just, I could fall asleep listening to that woman, honestly. All right, so 156. Which, honestly, it, sir, sir, we had this discussion. Excuse you. So this I can probably use for next week, to be honest. So I might just actually do that. The only problem is that look at how many ones there are. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is highly, highly ridiculous, like everything in my life. So, sir, excuse me. What are you doing? All right. So I know some of you guys have commented that you're like, you didn't realize my cat was here in the last video, which I'm trying to turn him around, but he's being a booger. Ah, 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 ah. Come here, Bucky. Come here. Come here, Squidge. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. The people want to see you. Look at their face. Look, at you're just a baby. Well, he's not really a baby anymore. He's a year old, but he's my baby, aren't you, Bubba? Yeah. All right, so that's all I got for this week. But other than, you know, my kitty right here. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye, guys.